says, so we have our chart tab here at the bottom and uh, we have a couple different selections here. So we got this little cursor. That's actually, if you wanted to, um, as you're moving around here, looks like my uh, iPad's giving me a hard time here, but essentially as you're moving around your finger here or uh, tapping on different uh, candles there, it'll update the cursor. It's just giving me a hard time right now. Um, but uh, that's our little cursor icon there. But even then, uh, from a aggregation, maybe you want a day chart, so 1D over one year. You can change the aggregation there at the top to a day. And then we have our time period 1Y for one year. And then we also have our chart type. So maybe you want to do a bar chart, candle, um, HLC bars, something like that. You can select that there. And then lastly, this little drawing icon, this is where we can start to add in our, you know, our price levels. Boom. So you, you tap on the drawing icon there, tap on which one you want and then tap on the screen. And then you can mess around with the settings there make a dot dash a little wider, change the color going to the settings too. You know, if you're like doing like Fibonacci retracements or something a little more uh, in depth here, you're going to have a little more. Um, but like something like that, you know, you tap on it. Or you double tap on it, should select it. But uh, yeah, so you can draw on the chart there. Um, some nice little settings there. And you can go into here too and, um, you know, get rid of your drawings if you want. Or, um, you know, not show your positions, not show drawings. Change around the scaling theme too. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, maybe change your, your chart background to a white background, you can do that too um, in our chart themes. So I clicked on the little bars there. That's how you could change your chart to light mode.